Remembering a pontoon beach police officer killed one week ago. Today we say goodbye to Officer Tyler Nathaniel Timmons, but it's not the last day we'll remember his service and sacrifice. He was a newlywed and a father. And I will spend every second of every minute of every day missing him. A big brother. He really was the best big brother I could have asked for. And a hero to many he'd never even met. Since it's our city, we figured we'd come out here and give our support because it's just very sad. The tribute that stretched for miles. Thank you for being with us. I'm Ann Allred. And I'm Mike Bush. Family, friends, law enforcement officers, the Patriot Guard, and even strangers gathered in Collinsville to remember Officer Tyler Timmons. Law officers from all over the region filled the Gateway Convention Center for a final salute to Officer Timmons. He was shot and killed last week while approaching a suspected stolen car at a gas station. The suspect is charged with first degree murder. Timmons was just 36 years old. Officer Timmons leaves behind a wife and a daughter. He's being remembered for his courage on the job and his devotion to his family. Officer Timmons' widow, Lindsay, spoke at the service. The couple just got married in September. Tyler was a one-of-a-kind person in every aspect you can think of. His infectious smile, his beautiful soul, his servant's heart, and his crazy personality. Following the service, there was a procession stretching for miles to Woodland Hills Cemetery in Wood River. We have two reports tonight. We'll check in with Ryan Henson on how pontoon beach police are coping in just a bit. But first, Holden Kerwicki has more on how the community is remembering a man they call a hero. Well, Mike, inside of the Pontoon Beach Police Department, there is a makeshift memorial, but it really pales in comparison to how the people of Pontoon Beach have come together to honor a man who gave his life to public service. He's in heaven. As the funeral procession for Officer Tyler Timmons passed through Pontoon Beach, it was greeted by a group of people who had been waiting for hours. It's kind of undescribable. The right words don't come out. For some, the sight of flags flying on both sides of Illinois Route 111 was enough to open up the floodgates. I just started crying because it just touched my heart so much seeing all these flags and what they're doing for this man. All the flags, you're thinking, oh, it's very exciting. But then, then when you think of the reason that it's happening, it's really sad. Those who knew Officer Timmons can't help but miss their friend, who they called the ultimate family man. He never missed his daughter's games. Always made sure he made her games. And he's just such a gentleman person, and we lost him, and we just miss him a lot. You know, he was an honest, forthright guy, just trying to do what a law officer ought to do, protect citizens, you know, and stand where he needed to stand, and he did. That's why so many people in this community say they will continue to stand by the Timmons family. There's so much I could say, but yet I don't feel I can say much. Except we love you, we're there for you. Stay strong and uh, know that he was a hero. Officer Timmons was just 36 years old. He is survived by his wife, who is a police officer at SIU Edwardsville, and his daughter. Reporting live in Pontoon Beach, Holden Kerwicki, five on your side. The Pontoon Beach Police Department must now find the strength to move forward. Ryan Henson is live at the Gateway Convention Center in Collinsville, the site of today's funeral service, to continue our team coverage. Ryan? Well, early today, the chief says officers and the department as a whole has been really leaning on each other, other departments, and many, many people in the community. He says all that support so important, especially as we move forward these next couple of days, these next handful of weeks, and the many years to come. On behalf of the Pontoon Beach Police Department, it's it's been amazing. It's given us strength to go through this uh, troubling times. It's helped a uh, family. Um, it's just, I, I never thought we'd get this much support from the community, local businesses, and just everybody in general, other police departments, everybody's just helped in to try to ease our pain. Chief Chris Madrusik says it's hard to sum up everything Officer Timmons embodied. It wasn't a secret that Timmons' top priority was his family. In his absence, about 50 officers attended his daughter's soccer game to support the family he leaves behind. 
He also had a passion for being active in the community. In the past few days, it's been a members of the same community who have blanketed the department with love and support. Meanwhile, the department has also gotten help from Madison County Sheriff's deputies. Over the past few days, they've been patrolling Pontoon Beach to give grieving officers a little extra time off. But starting at 6 a.m. tomorrow, the chief says, well, his guys are going to get back to work. They're going to take over the department and try and get back to normal. The chief says he's going to be on hand. He's going to be early, in fact, to make sure all officers have everything that they need moving forward. One of those ways actually is a support dog and a member from the community right there already donating it to make sure officers have everything they need to continue to keep their area safe. I'm Ryan Henson, five on your side. Backstoppers is making sure Officer Timmons sacrifice is not forgotten. The nonprofit helps families of first responders killed or seriously hurt in the line of duty. If you'd like to donate, just text the word support to 314-425-5355 and we'll send you a link.